Okay guys, so this is my new Urban Survival Get Home Bag. And before that I had quite a lot of other backpacks for Urban Survival and most of which were much bigger than this one. Now back then I was in a different uh, life situation. I was living in Vienna and there I did not have a car. Well, I had a car but I did not use it to move around in the city so I was just taking the subway or the bus. And for that I wanted to have a backpack which is a little bit bigger so if you buy something that you can store it inside of your backpack now the thing is that my life has changed quite a bit so I moved to suburbia and um, now I live in a house and usually when I go shopping now I take the car so I don't go with public transports anymore very seldomly actually and if I buy something the cart is full it would never fit into a backpack anyway and it just goes straight into the trunk of the car. So because of this lifestyle change, I have decided that I don't need such a big urban survival backpack anymore. And I just want to have a smaller one, which is a little bit bigger than a handbag. And here I have all of the essentials with me that I need for urban survival. And as you can see, this pack is really small. Um, it only has nine liters. And the brand is Tasmanian Tiger and the model is called Essential Pack. So this is what I'm wearing right now for Urban Survival. And this entire kit is full with gear, which is especially chosen for Urban Survival. So this has nothing to do with Wilderness Survival. Here we talk about Urban Survival. All right, so this is the Essential Pack by the company Tasmanian Tiger. We have some molly webbing in the front we have two straps that go around the front as well then here we have uh, my patch at the side i have attached my flashlight and this is also what i'm going to be using for self-defense uh, this light is really bright and you can seriously blind somebody if you get attacked for example and also you have the striking bezel which will help you out in a self-defense situation. So this is what I have right here at the side because I always want to have quick access to my flashlight. And I find that really important, especially now in winter time when it's getting dark early. Now this is the back side of the backpack. Uh, you can see it has some simple padding and the straps are also not too thick. So everything is um, good quality, but still lightweight enough so it doesn't drag you down. Now here at the bottom front of the backpack, I have attached a pouch and in this pouch I have my tactical gloves by the company Oakland. So in the urban survival it's important that you have gloves with you in case that you are involved for example in a car accident. Uh, maybe you are the witness of a car accident, then you can help the victim and um, try to get them out through the window but very often the windows are broken and of course you don't want to cut your hands and this way you can handle hazardous materials without um, yeah hurting yourself so having the means of protecting your hands in a survival situation is really important so always wear gloves or take them with you in your get home bag the next thing that i have here is a hand warmer so uh, i've packed this because now we are getting winter here in europe and uh, in case my hands are getting cold, I want to have the uh, possibility to warm them up again. So if I'm doing some something really important, uh, which needs the agility of my fingers, I just want to make sure that my hands are not freezing, which is really important in a survival situation. Okay, this is the main compartment of my backpack. And if you open this up, you can see first of all, there is a small water bottle for emergencies. Then also I'm using this carabiner here and this is where I'm attaching my car keys. Uh, then here's my wallet. Then next in here I have this key. Uh, this key 
can help you out in urban environments especially because you can use those keys to open up some water valves in case you need to drink some water. So in some industrial buildings you will find water spigots outside of the building and with this key you can yeah open up the spigot and then you have something to drink. Okay next I have this um, pouch here which is containing my notebook so I can take notes. I also have a calculator here. Then this here is a small lockpick set. So this is it, a very small kit and you got most of the picks that you need to pick a simple lock. Then also in here I got a Sharpie and this is a, a screwdriver that electricians are using. Then here at this side I have a pen, I have an exacto knife and a marker. So yeah, this is my little note pouch and it's really handy to have it. I love to have something to write with me. Maybe you have to write down some important information. So it's always good to have pen and paper with you. Okay, then up here I have a pepper spray. And then I got this small pouch here. In this pouch I have a, a couple of goodies that I want to show you later. Then I have this first aid kit. And I made sure that it's a proper one with a lot of band-aids and um, all kinds of things you need in case of an emergency. So it's a little bit bigger than what I used to carry, but first aid kits are really important. Uh, make sure that you carry um, a big one. Then here I carry some cutlery because sometimes um, you want to eat something but you forgot to grab some cutlery and also I have this rain poncho which doubles as shelter. Then also at the bottom I have a Leatherman signal. It's a really nice Leatherman. I love it. It's big. It's, it's having a lot of options and it's of really really high quality and you want to have good pliers and other tools in our urban survival situation. And then last but not least, I have this box here and I now want to show you the content. Okay, let's check out what's in the box. You will be surprised and also shocked. Okay, so in here I got a really cheap Geiger counter. This is a Geiger counter that I've tested with my more expensive Gamma Scout Geiger counter and it's working great. It's giving me the same readings as my $600 Geiger counter, but I don't want to take such an expensive Geiger counter with me. So I've chosen this really cheap Geiger counter, which costs between $60 and $80. And it's reliable, cheap and lightweight. And this is why I have thrown it into my pack. And yeah, as you can see now, there's no radiation, but I just want to have this Geiger counter with me in case something happens, you know, the world situation has changed. I just want to be prepared that if I'm not at home and something happens, that I'm able to get intelligence, to know what's going on. Yeah, so now I'm really happy that I have this cheap Geiger counter, which is fully functioning and very um, sensitive. Uh, you can yeah, make a small Faraday cage with aluminium and then you're good to go and you should be able to protect this device against nuclear EMPs as well. Okay, next I want to show you what's in this bag here. So here I have a couple of extra batteries and actually now I want to switch off the Geiger counter and take out the batteries. And that's because I don't want any batteries to oxidize in case I'm not using the Geiger counter for a long time. Okay, so we have some spare batteries. Then also here I have a mirror, which is a signal mirror. Uh, it's important that you have a mirror so you can look yourself in the eye if you have something stuck in your eye. So that's really important. Then I got some earphones an extra uh, toothbrush and in here I have a small 
USB stick, which is also a radio. So this here is a really awesome device. This here is a small USB drive, but also you can listen to the radio with this device by plugging in your earphones. And it's really important that you have um, a radio so you can get an intelligence uh, in case your phone is dead from an EMP. It's really cheap, doesn't cost a lot. You can also insert a micro, um, a micro SD card and you can uh, put your personal files on here if you want to. So it's a really, really awesome device and I love it and I've used it a lot of times. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. I got a small um, scissor and nail filing kit. Toothpaste, earplugs, a USB cable, a lighter, uh, some dental floss, a small mini compass, super glue and a small torch. And this small torch is the Maglite Solitaire and um, the barb is not too strong so you can even take a look in somebody's eye for injuries. Yeah and then I got this cloth for cleaning my glasses. So that's what's in the smaller pouch. Um, useful stuff that you can need in a survival situation. All right, so this is my setup for urban survival. I really like it and I think it's not too much, but also not too little. So I have all of the essentials in my pack, but also I don't want to have such a heavy bag that it drags me down. So I still can, you know, it's still lightweight enough that I can run fast and um, yeah. If the backpack is too big, I often leave it in the car and that's what I found. So having the smaller backpack is much easier to just take out of the car. And there was a time like when I didn't carry anything at all because I was just too annoyed by taking a big backpack with me. But with the smaller size, I'm really happy now. And I always take it with me no matter in which store I go. All right guys, so this is my urban get home bag and I'm really stoked, I really love it. I dig this backpack. And if you want to know where you can buy this um, backpack here, I will leave you a link in the description below. Stay tuned till next time.